Hello guys, welcome back. By now we have covered almost every theoretical aspect that is included in your syllabus for the second semester. So now we will dive into some C programming and gradually we will move towards the completion of our code and at the end we shall make a small project as I already told you earlier. So in the first video for C programming we will learn about something called identifiers and keywords in C. So first of all, let us see what identifiers mean. Identifier refers to a name which is given to entities such as variables, functions, structures, etc. An identifier must be unique because an identifier is meant to identify an entity in a program. Now, whenever we will write some program, we are sure to have some variables. So in order to have those variables, we need to be able to identify them throughout our program because we don't want to mess the program with complex variable names or some uh, you know alien like instances which are not possible to remember every time easily for example uh, yeah let us first uh, take a look at this example that means identifiers must be unique why because uh, say suppose at your home your two siblings you have some name obviously your name is different from what your sibling's name is. Why? Because if both of you have the same name, there will be utter confusion. But it might so happen that your next door neighbor has the name same as that of yours. And that is quite, I mean, normal because nobody will refer to your next door neighbor by your name. I mean, if someone wants to call you, obviously that person will be calling you from within your own house not from the neighbor's house so that will not create confusion but if you and your sibling have the same name at the same home or at the same ad staying at the same address that will cause a problem so such a, such a similar instance we have in C programming also that within a program or within a block of code the name of the identifier must be unique that means there should be only one identifier with a certain name or a certain variable name okay next there are some rules for writing an identifier a valid identifier can have letters both uppercase and lowercase identifiers can have digits as well as underscores okay next we have the first letter of an identifier should either be a letter that is either uppercase letter or a lowercase letter or it can be an underscore but you will see that the first letter can never be a digit okay and one more thing is that it is often discouraged to start the identifier name with a underscore because generally system variables are named i mean are named as underscore something some variable name so that means generally system variables start with a underscore and hence we shall always try to keep the identifier name as simple as possible so that it is first of all understandable by any any reader who reads the code first time and also it is easy to maintain throughout the program and next there is no rule on the length of an identifier but we will always try to keep the length of the identifier name as short as possible okay and uh, the first 31 characters of identifiers are discriminated by the compiler Next we have keywords in C. Keywords are certain reserved words which are used in the by the programming language itself. You cannot use these words as your identifier names. That means these words are already reserved by the programming language. And C programming language has 32 such keywords. Let us take a look at all of those. So this is a list of all the 32 keywords that C has. Uh, for example, auto, break, case, care, continue, do, default, constant, double, int, long, switch, etc, etc, etc. So these are the 32 keywords that C has. Now, we, we shall take a look at a very small basic program in which I'll illustrate you how to write the identifier names. So, we will first include a header file. And then inside a main function, 
Don't worry if you are not able to understand few things over here. It's okay. It's normal because this is the first programming video. I shall show you that as we proceed. I will explain to you everything. So over here, let us declare a variable. Say suppose if you want to uh, maybe write the sum of two num, calculate the sum of two numbers. So obviously we need to have two variables for that. Two variables which can store some value. So let us say the first variable is int var one. Uh, and the second variable, okay, second variable is var two. Now obviously we want to store some value. I mean, which we want to store this result somewhere. So let us say that storage space is sum. So over here our goal is to calculate the sum of two variables, and hence the first variable name I have written as var one, and the second variable name I have written as var two. And in order to store the Addition, result of addition of these two variables, I have created a third variable whose name is sum. Now let us say the value of var one is suppose forty nine, and the value of var two is say thirty seven. Now we want to sum them up. So in order to sum them, I will store it somewhere, and I'll write var one plus var two. And then I will simply print the values. Say the sum is so. Few things which I would like to explain in this video itself. This statement right at the first that means at line one, this hash include stdio.h is including a header file. The name of that header file is this stdio, which stands for standard i for input and o for output. So this is a header file inside which there are some functions defined, and I am importing all those functions into this code of mine. Okay, this void is the return type for this main function, and the main function is the point where the every program's execution begins. Now over here I have written int. This int basically specifies an integer. That means I want to say that var one, var two, and sum. The data type of all these three variables is a integer. That means I will store only natural, I mean whole numbers into it. I won't store any floating point decimal values. Okay. So over here, var one is equal to forty nine. I am specifying that I want to store forty nine inside var one and thirty seven inside. var2 and our goal was to print the sum of two variables so over here i have written sum is equal to var1 plus var2 and once the sum is computed i call a function this function is a predefined function which is a part of this stdio header file so this print a function basically prints the output onto the screen to the standard output So here I write a, a statement, a small statement that the sum is essentially the sum is of the two variables that we have taken over here, and this percentage d says that we want to print some integer value over here, and once we are done with this, we just write var, or rather not var, it will actually be sum. So we are just printing the value of this sum or value stored in the sum variable over here. Okay, so let us uh, say save this. So I will save it. Uh, let us give it a name. Program one, and it is obviously a C file. One thing I, that I would like to say is that this is a uh, software that I am using to write the program. The name of the software is Dev. D E V C. That means developer C. You can also download the software. Otherwise, you can even download Notepad plus plus and use it. That's completely up to you. And once I save this code, I shall compile and then run it. The reason why I'm using this Dev C is that over here I get the writing or rather I get the editor. As well as the compiler, all at one place, and hence I don't have to always switch between Notepad, rather the text editor and the command line, in order to see the output. So that is the advantage that this gives. So over here, see the sum is eighty six. This is the output that we have obtained. So obviously, if I sum forty nine and thirty seven, 
the result will come out to be 86 so that is as we expected now the goal was that to understand what identifiers are so over here see i have taken var1 var2 and sum these three variables that i have taken these three identifiers that i have taken depict some some i mean they have some uh, meaning what does it mean it means that I have two variables, variable one and variable two, and I am storing these sum, uh, the sum of these variables into this sum variable. So that is some meaning. But otherwise, if I write A, B, and C over here, it will not make much sense. I mean, the reader won't be able to understand by the first look what this program is meant to do, or what are the variable names that I've used in this program. So that in uh, that enhances understandability of the reader and over here this int this int is a data type this void is again a return type or a data type so these are a few variables which, which we cannot use and these are reserved by the programs and hence you will note that even the color of these variables have changed now if i want to write the name as say one var that must give a error let us see yeah see over here it's saying that it is invalid suffix var or integer constant so we are not allowed to name a variable which starts with a digit and hence i'll give this or if you want you can also name your variable like var underscore one but other than underscore you cannot use any other special character for example you cannot use a dash because this dash obviously has a meaning and it means minus moreover you cannot even use this at the rate symbol or rather other than this underscore you cannot use any other symbol in order to give names to your identifiers okay so that was more or less all for this video thank you